Do you know what I think? Times are more confusing than Dorothy was when she found out she wasn't in Kansas anymore. I heard someone say they get confused between the movies Forrest Gump and Saving Private Ryan. I wanted more info, but I thought I'd end up more confused and definitely frustrated. They weren't even the same war. Anyway, now is a confusing time. We all live our lives and have the mental capacity to understand, but we are constantly told things are different. Today, we're gonna solve all of that. Well, at least the part about real estate. Are we in a buyer's market or a seller's market? Well, it's still a seller's market, but we're working our way back to a neutral market as inventory increases. And speaking of inventory, Jessica Louts of NAR says, one thing that seems to be pretty solid is that home prices are going to continue to go up. And the reason is that we don't have enough housing inventory. But just how much will they continue to go up? Well, not much. Notice no one thinks they're gonna drop. Inventory is low because people who own a home have a low interest rate. And if they sell the home, their new interest rate will be higher. But once rates drop, we're gonna see a change. So when will they drop? Well, it's when the Fed starts to lower rates or we think they will lower rates. Here's what economists think they will do. And it appears most think September. I've been saying October, but we're gonna have to wait and see. And I agree that early next year will be the latest. And how do presidential elections affect the housing market? And even though the Fed is supposed to be neutral, they do seem to be at least slightly biased towards the incumbent. Al Lord, though you know you could read it AI Lord, says presidential election years affect the national housing market and the mortgage rates through three interrelated channels, uncertainty, policy expectations, and consumer confidence. This is because consumers may choose to postpone major purchases or sales till they gain greater confidence in the country's direction. Usually home sales are unchanged compared to a non-election year, with the exception being November. In an election year, November is slower than normal. And that's according to Allie Wolf, an economist at Sonda. Here are a few stats to back up Wolf's view. We established that October and November of an election year are bad for home sales. But when do they get better? Well, shortly after, at least in the last nine of 11 presidential elections. What have interest rates done after an election? Well, eight out of the last 11 elections, we've seen rates start to drop. And that's good news for the buyer who wants to buy and the sellers who want to sell. And on that, we'll have to wait and see note. That's it for our show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on All the Right Moves with Jeff Moss.